and uh, really just a, a very cool guy. Speaking of uh, <laughs> speaking of aggressive aggressive build orders, Wardy, uh, this is the exact same thing, right? Yeah, exact same thing. But the SCV of innovation was seen by the Overlord. So he saw the SCV, he pulled the SCV back, that's why this drone is scouting, but it's also why Solar has gone gas pool, just in case Innovation still committed to it, which he has. That's oh, three barracks against pool first. This ends up in a very awkward scenario. I almost wish Innovation had gone back and done a, a more standard build after being spotted there and just keep his opponent guessing a little bit. This drone gonna delay that barracks. There's already two Zerglings on the way, of course. One of the other barracks has finished. This other SCV will pop over and finish it up. And uh, from here, it's very hard to win with this, but you can put the Zerg in an awkward position. Once again, Solar has to decide how he's going to react to this, and I think it is going to be Zergling speed by the looks of it. Uh, some people like to go Ravages, get a couple of them out to just yeah. really clean up the Marines with perfect micro, but Ling speed definitely can get the job done. Starts that up right now as the first couple of SCVs turned away super fast, of course. The one thing you can do on this map is somehow wall off your Marine behind the uh, on the ramp and maybe build like a bunker or a safe depot there. For the moment, it doesn't look as though we're going to be seeing that in innovation in general just in trouble. So many Zerglings, not even a drone pull needed here from Solar. There's the extra Marines, and this way it gets a little bit more spicy, but there's already a spine crawler ha halfway done up in the main base. I'd like to see those Lings backstab across the map. I think if you lose this hatch, it's not the end of the world, uh, obviously, at this point. Ah, oh, the Queen's already down, actually. She does get down here pretty quickly, and combined with the Zerglings, I think she should be able to stop these SCVs from building the bunkers. That's the key. That's what Solar couldn't stop from happening in the previous game. But those Marines on top of the Queen, there's still one SCV. Yeah. The SCV is going to get on top of that bunker. It is indeed. And now the Spine Crawl is trying to come down, but the Spine Crawl won't do damage until it's bowed. And Innovation can maybe try and block this. The Reinforcer Marines are shutting down those links that were trying to get around oh. the side. The Spine Crawler, but I think the SCV is going to go down anyway. Oh. But so much damage. It's it slides. It no slides. Does it? Oh my lord. Solar is going to be so mad at that SCV. That is the lucky, luckiest Drilly Boy in the entire world. Red hit point. Builds a bunker in the face of a massive Zerglings and a spine crawler, and now Solar is in huge trouble. Zergling speed about to finish, but is there the Zergling to do anything here? I don't really think so. Innovation is going to put the Hurt Marines in the bunker. He's going to fight this right now. SCV trying to repair. It doesn't matter if Solar types out. G tier level, and oh my lord, he's starting off with something dirty. He is indeed getting dirty, cracking open the book of filth, seeing what he can get done here in the early games against Rogue. With that high ground pylon, it's going to be Gateway Forge and now a cannon rush for the natural Zerg. Will have a spot for his probe to escape up here to the north side. Rogue just cancelling that hatchery and going for the third base. And already Zest upsetting the flow for the Zerg and cancelling those extra pylons. Yeah, now does he want to commit to the forward wall off? Of course, he's walled in on one base back at home. Slaver Court just going down now. This is a rather fast cannon rush and with the full wall off. It definitely looks like he wants to set up on the front. You can see the second gas going down. Zest has spotted that. That means Ravages are going to be the answer. If he wants to hold this position, he's going to need to build a lot of cannons and shield batteries. You're absolutely right, as he wants to try and get the Robo up with that full wall off. Now, we haven't seen the Roach Warren just yet from Rogue. He's going to be able to afford it in a second here. Well, they got some lings out to try and shepherd back that probe. Still not saturating that gas just yet. Maybe, maybe Rogue rethinking this. This is a little bit odd here. Ling speed now starting up. No yeah. Roach Warren going down just yet. And uh, the probe does come back in. Doesn't see any workers mining from that back gas. Robo does now go down here at the front. It's not a crazy fast Robo, but it is quite early. The cannons there. Zerglings are going to sneak on out. But uh, oh, that cannon actually a little exposed there is going to take quite a bit of damage. And the probe's even assisting. The cannon will get up. So this is really brutal for Rogue. He has been walled into his main base. Ravages, I feel like, are a necessity here, but he's going to try and push this back with spine crawlers from the high ground. If Zest gets high ground vision, this is going to be very rough for Rogue going forward. And Cryptuma does go down. He's got to spread that forward. The spines, of course, want to move forward and take down these cannons and batteries from the high ground with Ling speed on the way. It's just mass Zerglings. There's going to be a flood of Lings. The trick here when the fight happens is Zest needs to limit the surface area of those Zerglings. He needs to try to wall them off and really just try to stop them from surrounding his Immortals and his cannons. And the high ground advantage there for those Spine Crawlers. The Queen actually takes quite a few shots, which means these Spine Crawlers get some pokes in before the cannon fires back. The Queen goes down. A little bit of a mistake there from Rogue. He's just trying to tank as many cannon shots as possible. Three Spine Crawlers wailing on that one cannon, which just got a fresh new shield battery. Is it worth all the shield battery energy though, Maynard? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I mean, this Immortal's now out, but he's got no juice left to heal it. That Immortal is trapped. It's not in Spine Crawler range just yet though. Uh, and right now, with all the shield battery energy gone, I mean, this is a bit of a disaster for Zest. He's got nothing to heal this Immortal. 
He's got one shield battery on the right side, which does cover this ramp. The Ling's coming back, and they're going to go down, obviously, here. The Immortal muscling its way forward here. Oh. It's been a little bit sloppy for Zess, but if he gets a second Immortal and a Warp Prism, magic can happen. Yeah, I mean, it's just about making sure this can't be depowered. I really like the idea of a backup pylon on the left-hand side. Two Immortals are now out. Tons of Zerglings on the right-hand side. The Prism is not out, so the Immortals can't risk poking in just yet. Remember, Rogue only on 14 workers, continuing to mass Zerglings. Banelings being added as well. Banelings, if they can crash into the center of the cannons, the pylons, they can take out multiple structures very effectively. Banelings are so good at busting through cannons and pylons. The Immortals, if they're in position, can mitigate a lot of that damage, but Rogue has tons of Banes here on the right side. Look at the Sim City, though. It is kind of nice. Yeah, it's nice. The Immortals in the choke points looking good. The Prism will be able to pick things up, and it can also repower structures that get depowered as well. Really good point. The Prism is in the main base here of Rogue. One Spine Crawler goes down. The Immortals getting pushed back. In come the Banelings of Rogue. Oh. Right into the pylon. He depowers one. Not enough Banelings to bust this position, though. Seth still putting the pressure on the Zerg. It's not enough just yet to break through, but more Lings and Banes coming on down. The Immortals are holding on, but there's no cannons left. They would love a bit more damage output. The Immortals taking forever to clean up these Zerglings. And uh, the Prism can be used here in a second, and it really should as the Immortals are starting to get a little unhealthy. Oh. There's an area for the Immortal to be dropped next to Probe up here behind the mineral line. Zest utilizes it to try and get those links. An unfavorable trade. They're going to wrap around the robotics facility here. A third of all close to being done. But I don't think we're going to see it here, Big Rogue. Fully surrounding that Robo. Oh, it's so close. The Immortal oh. pops out just in time. The shield battery. Immortals. The healing on the Robo as well there allows a few more Zerglings to go down. And with three Immortals and a Prism, I'm not sure if you can keep up your production. Only 14 workers, remember, here for Rogue. Three Immortals with the Prism able to just bounce them around, pulling them back. Save that Immortal at the front. Wow, waits to the last second there. And in a way, actually baits Rogue into staying way too long at this point. Rogue, I think he's out of steam. The last handful of Zerglings, a single queen. He's got nothing else. It's just a trickle of lings for Rogue. Oh, these Immortals, uh, he just really doesn't have an answer. A lot of lings is all he has. He doesn't have many queens to pick off the Prism either. Zest is going to juggle it back. And GG, Zest will take game number one. What the hell wow. is this? Where's is oh yep there is a second but is he actually so it's gonna be two gate and a forge or something because just for a straight up cannon rush this is way too late Todd he doesn't even have a forge yet so what is yeah. this I think maybe just uh, gateway I think gate gate forge right no what you don't think into core no. yeah mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw but in the lobby he actually was spamming the Z-modes. Oh. like the pylon cannon cannon. That's Really? Did he actually do that? Yeah. Has but, did it? Yeah, but that wasn't in the lobby yet, but still. <laughs> it's no. crazy that has. Yeah, you're kidding. I showed you, like he was riding the pylon cannon cannon emotes. Well, guys, Stats has not scouted this yet. Now we have a couple of pilots going down and, whoa, that is brilliant. I, I think you actually have to cancel that gateway, maybe. If I'm Stats, I'm canceling that gate, okay? Yeah, it feels like he needs to get in right now, but then I think... Yeah, maybe he has to make a pylon cannon. on time. No, yeah, yeah, absolutely. He would, but I still think. But then he would have only space for only one cannon. Oh my god! Now he's gonna have two. Oh my god! This is. I mean, it is. He's gonna try to empower both pylons here with all of these probes. He's trying to get maximum surface area. One of those gets cancelled here. Has might just remake a pylon. I think he realized that was gonna get empowered eventually. Oh, and now he's gonna wait until this cannon goes down. Oh, the zealot was blocked a little bit at the back. Finally, gets in there. Starts working on that cannon. Actually, I'm not But sure two Zealots are going to come in very soon, and there is only... Okay, that pylon is good, but the probe is going to go down, but there's still a Zealot out there. Now two stocks are on the yeah. way. Where do you defend if you're stats? Do you go defend your probes? Do you kill the cannon? It no, I like think you, you kill, kill the, the cannon. cannon. You always kill the cannon. But the, the, he's actually going for the pylon oh my God. instead. That's a bit risky, because Has could potentially build a new pylon there as well. It's obviously very important for Has to unpower the gateways before the stalkers are out, and he does it! What? How did that stalker not come out? And his Zealot, he's still got most of its hit points. He's only lost the shields. One more Zealot will walk oh in. Oh my god. Stop the city is coming. He didn't really make a pylon. His gateways are going to be unpowered forever. And then the cannon is going to be up. In what? a second, he's going for the pylon. Cloud Fiesta. Wait, now the top pylon is stats, right? It's not one of those pylons from stats. It has to be. Yeah, that yeah. one is from stats. Okay. He's going to get stalkers. I think then he's totally fine, though. Well, if he Ooh. can save all of his probes, or most of them, he's lost already five. Stats is really trying to rip out that. I mean, Stats is all in. There is no transition. He has no gas income. Yes. Yeah. That's a super all in. I actually think with the Stalkers out, I think you're going to be okay, man. There's just no way for Has to kill those Stalkers, though. That's like a defense really for Stats. Close. Yeah, that was as close as it gets. He's still going to unpower the gateways, but there is enough. Stats gets the equalizer here. After he failed cannon rush, he's like, what is going on here in this series? I was not the usual stock after I'm playing over in Korea.
I was a